Hey guys, Khalid from Cricket Fanatics Magazine here. I'm at here at the Western Province Awards, Nandre Burger. We caught up last season, and then something un very unfortunate happened to you. <laughs> I was looking so forward to seeing you play. We know left arm seam coming in at Newlands, perfect conditions for you. Let's talk about that. That, that moment in your life where you got injured and how you've recovered from it to come back and be fit again for the Western Province team? Um, yeah, I think the, the actual moment was uh, quite a tough one. You know, I think I spent about three months literally at home having to recover, sit on the couch kind of thing, let everything heal. So mentally that was quite difficult for me. Uh, as being a very busy, fidgety kind of person, so that was quite difficult for me. But I think the, the process to come back, back to fitness, start the healing, the rehab, Things like that's been it's been good for me. I've learned a lot about myself, about the game of cricket, about my body. So I'm really excited to get going again and just play some cricket. Like I can't even explain to you how excited I am to just play a game of cricket. So what sort of insights can you give fans or other cricketers that have gone through a struggle like that? What have you learned from that experience of the year and getting ready for cricket? I think uh, the, everyone always says you must trust the process. I think being injured is a process as well. Um, the process being rehab, get your body strong, get your body fit. I think that's still a process you have to go through, you have to learn, and I think you have to trust it. You have to, you have to know that what I'm doing today is going to benefit me in two weeks' time. I think trusting that, knowing that the, the tedious, boring things you're doing at home, just stretching or whatever it could be, is going to benefit you in the long run. That's, that's excellent. What makes it different for a bowler to other disciplines um, getting ready? Um, I think uh, obviously the, I want to say the pounding your body takes, especially in like a four day game for instance, um, I think it's obviously a lot different to how batting, batting could be. Even in a T20 game you expect it to run in and bowl 24 of the fastest balls you can. Um, I think the, what your body goes through and that's, with, through that adrenaline if I can put it that way, I think just the, the impact impact that has to take is probably the difference. But I mean at the end of the day we all cricketers, we all play under pressure. We all want to perform under pressure and that's that's what we do. Awesome. So the breaking news this week was obviously the SA20 auction. You getting picked up by a team that you're familiar with too, you would say. <laughs> Good, you got to go back home again. Um, but from that perspective, where were you first and foremost when you heard the news? And how are you feeling about this new tournament? Yeah, well firstly, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, secondly, I was obviously I was sitting at home like I think most people watching watching the draft, uh, I was a bit unfortunate, had some load shedding, so I was a bit uh, delayed there, so I got I got to see it after, I kind of got messages from people saying congratulations, so uh, maybe took a bit of the excitement out of it, if I can put it that way, but I was like, it was nice to obviously still see it, and uh, I'm quite excited to work with Eric again, I think uh, I have a good relationship with him, I work well with him, and uh, just to also learn from a guy like Stephen Fleming, just, I think he's coached the Chennai Super Kings fantastically over over the past couple of years and seasons and I think what he can bring to my game could, could be life changing. What makes Eric special? Because I've seen him, obviously we've seen him with the pro tiers etc and in the MSL and all over the world as well. What makes him special? What You spoke about your relationship with him. I think uh, something he does really well or what I, I enjoy is he kind of wants to build a separate relationship with you about the way you, you want to approach bowling, the way you look at it and then kind of form a plan where you can both like obviously that will benefit the team that, that you both both can work towards and everyone can execute. Awesome Nandra, good luck for the season. Awesome, thank you very much, I appreciate it.